Hi there, this is Faye from Faye's World Media, and in this video, I want to show you behind the scenes of Film Hub, which is the number one indie film distribution platform. World documentary joined the platform back in October 2019. And I did it after discovering a very poor collaboration or partnership with the Struber, which is probably no longer a company at this point. And there were a lot of negative feedback. So at the time, my number one goal was to resolve that on my own. So if you're an indie filmmaker, definitely keep watching. If you know someone, Film Hub has been a lifesaver along with Amazon Video Direct, which have a separate video. So via this video, I want to show you behind the scenes screen tutorials for you to see what Phase World documentary looks like inside of Film Hub and the channels that we have been promoted to so far, uh, any dashboards, analytics, uh, how we like or dislike the platform, how responsive their customer service team has been or how to even contact them. These are really important questions. Last but not least, the hurdles and the assets they might need that that you might not have at the moment for your film because when you think about it as an aggregator and distributor for multiple platforms what they need to do is gather as much assets as they can from you so that it will satisfy many if not all the requirements from everyone else so let's get started let's take a look at inside of film hub first to submit your film you need to visit filmhub.com and they refer to themselves as film distribution 2.0 to confirm filmmakers pay zero dollars, you keep your rights, transparent reporting, which sounds all pretty great. And there's a preview of a lot of these indie filmmakers going strong, making fresh content for their audience. Here's how it works. Their revenue starts flowing, 80% goes to you, and there's no deduction or fees or anything that is uh, hidden from you. Dozens of channels, which I'm going to show you in a second of what it means and who they are. You will see some of the more known names, you know, such as Prime Videos, for example, or Tubi, but there are also honestly a lot of networks I have never heard of. There you go. If you're not sure, you can subscribe to their newsletters and learn more about what they do. I know that I was too feeling very skeptical of what they may be delivering. So to submit your series, what you need to do is decide whether you want to add a title or add your series. And you also have options to look at insights, uh, different channels. Um, this, this channel's list is what we just discussed. It doesn't really give you uh, information on how your film is performing, but simply the channels here is just a straight up list of channels that they have available. One thing to know that they do update the channel list pretty often, which is a huge benefit to independent filmmakers, because like I said, if you're uh, not, if you don't have a million dollar budget, you don't have a, a very big team promoting or constantly promoting your film for you. It's very important that, uh, that you work with someone who do. So as for a film hub, this is what they do. They continuously update this list of channels here and you can see that there are news updates and they will also update you as soon as a new channel is added and marketing is their job to keep promoting your film. Now, when you select a ad title, what it means is you're adding a single piece of work and um, that's the name of your film, a short description. This part is pretty similar to Amazon Prime submission or Amazon Video Direct, which I have a separate video to kind of walk you through, walk you through the tutorial there. And this is a single work and there's primary genre you can select. Now you can also add a series. A series refers to things that are episodic. So for Phase World, we have a five part um, series. And for you, it may be 10 to 12 episodes, but make sure you differentiate between the two. Now I wanna show you inside our dashboard, what it looks like once I submitted our series is that uh, it's kind of weird because Phase World has a title that looks like a, a zip folder. It says series, and that's what this icon indicates. And it's at the very bottom. Uh, these are episodes stacked right above it. And this kind of confused me. And as you can see, the status here, it says QC status. It's all quality control has passed. And you see these episodes are now locked and submitted for distribution. 
when you submit your film, if you want to make any changes, what you can do is contact their customer service. By the way, speaking of which, at any time that you're stuck, you have more questions, you can click on this little uh, robot icon and it says, hi, Faye, ask us anything, share your feedback. And here you can start a new conversation or you can find answers for yourself. They have a ton of articles, but I also did find myself having to ask questions and connect with a real human being for the fastest resolution. So uh, also on this dashboard, you will see there are channel activities. Here you can see that when um, certain channels selected our film, which is titled Face World, you can see these dates and their status here related to that. There's a difference between what's selected. Uh, usually it's selected and delivered. I'm seeing promoted for the first time. I think what it's what this means is that uh, phase world has been promoted to to be, but it hasn't been selected yet. Uh, I don't keep logging in to check out the status. I typically do it once a month. So I'm not perhaps not seeing all the status um, here, but I will include an article below to help you understand what's what. And these what these color codings are referred to as well. So let's take a look at the series. So I'm going to click on phase world and this will take you to the first page, which is when you submit either your title or your series. Um, again, as I mentioned, title is submitted to make changes. You need to contact their support team. I want to show you what it looks like when you click on support. It just opened up, literally opened up a uh, triggers your default. Um, email message, which I kind of like because I, I want to be able to just send a message and knowing that a human being is reviewing and responding to them and their email is support at filmhub.com. Here, the basic information for our series is name um, and format and description. And you have the list right here. Tell them how many episodes that you have and how many seasons they belong to. And this video is my trailer. There's a secure screening link. I actually like that because this landing page, I assume is what Film Hub will use to promote your series. So make sure your trailer is to the point. It has the right length. I would recommend between one to two minutes. I mean, there are a lot of best practices online. So that is for you to follow and to determine what's right for your film. And here you want to include images. My number one recommendation, guys, is um, always keep this image very straightforward. Do not include small text, whether it's your directors, producers, or even a tagline. Originally, I included a tagline below phase what I think unsung heroes or something like that. Uh, but still, these images are easily rejected if you have small text that's not readable. Uh, I don't know if Film Hub has this image requirements. I'm pretty sure they do. And I will make sure to include in a link below in the description area. There are other images besides your, just your film image that you can also upload. You also have the opportunity to actually put a tagline or put a little description for uh, the image you're uploading. I just like that about anything behind the scenes, anything that uh, gives people more flavor and more context to what I'm doing. I like to celebrate the people who help me produce the film and who are on sets with me, my team. So just want to show you guys some of these options here. Now below that is the metadata. So country of origin, year of production, rough budget, running time, copyright, public domain information. This is pretty trivial. There are tags that you can include as well. There's a skew that they generate in the end, some marketing information here. But here is my film landing page. I'll have a separate video to talk about why you need a website and what you should really consider including on your website for the film. Now let's take a look at cast and crew. This is pretty standard information and this is a little bit different than what um, I remember the user interface compared to Amazon Prime. But you can, you know, write down as many names as people are cast members for, and you can give them the role. And I know traditionally people write down himself, herself, but in this day and age, I, I decided that since I'm an interview and host, I'm just going to refer to everybody else as guest. Now for the crew, you can add more information. So, um, you can include director, producer, and writer and creator, but that's it. Those are the four roles. In the drop down, you have access to for everybody else. Don't sweat it. Just call them, list them as other, whether there are PA, so production assistant or sound engineers. Uh, I just like to give people credits, even though I can't really be very precise about what they did for us. Uh, content rating for us is G rated, but make sure that is accurate. 
And also at the very bottom, you have these activities with these channels. So let's scroll back up and I want to show you now what it looks like under each episode. Since the structure is the same, the only difference here is, you know, the, the thumbnails or the actual movie file. So let me show you, give you an example, pay it forward with Seth Godin and Dory Clark. That's episode number four for us. Uh, so here for each episode, you repeat a lot of the same information, like what you just did for, um, the title information. And this confused me too for like a few seconds, but make sure that you submit the season number episode and then description relevant for this episode. And you will see uh, a link for you to upload the, the film. Uh, for us, we uploaded the movie file. Again, you want to upload the highest resolution file possible, guys. Go to work, find a place that's not Starbucks or your local coffee shop. You need very stable, steady, high speed internet, guys, high speed internet. Because for us, the videos were a little less than one gigabyte. Uh, it took forever on our very average home internet before we upgrade it. So if you live in the US and if you're on Comcast, good luck. It's not going to be great. You might want to look into Verizon. So for each uh, episode, it's um, asking for a portrait. Um, I actually don't even know where these things are living, but I decided I wasn't going to create a portrait image for each of the episode, but I did include a landscape version where I feature uh, one guest from the episode. Uh, so you guys know, uh, if you check out my Amazon video direct, I use a slightly different strategy where I slice up this image. In this case, I could use the portrait image and have the two guests because I interview two people per episode and have two sets of images here. Since I, I can't really preview and I don't want to get too tricky with Film Hub, knowing that they're distributing your film to so many different platforms, keeping things simple is key. Otherwise, you don't know how these images are going to look on each of the platforms. A lot of the metadata repeats, and I just divided the total budget based on the number of episodes and estimated that runtime. I was kind of sweating or thinking about, oh my God, like, do I have to really include the cast and crew for each of the episode? Well, good news for you guys is I contacted Film Hub support and they said, this is not necessary. All the information, basically starting with pricing and uh, after these basic metadata information, you do not have to repeat pricing, description, marketing link for each and every episode. So that's it. Uh, let's recap. We talked about the dashboard. Once again, this is the dashboard. We talked about ad series. This is where you add a new series since we already have our series. I wasn't going to redo this. Uh, we talked about channels, all the channels that uh, Film Hub has available. They do have these hyperlinks. They talk about the countries where these channels are available. So uh, I was really curious. I spent probably a couple of hours looking through this, but they're adding new information constantly. The only thing we haven't talked about are insights. Now, insights, as I'm recording this video, performance insights are not earnings. They're clarifying this, but also um, this section is being updated, which I guess this is the only part that I'm not as happy about because I'm not really seeing any reports to uh, the watch time um, or downloads and things along that line. Uh, but as soon as they clear things up, um, you will be able to, I'm sure for your film, it may be, may be different, um, but more about the difference to earning. There is detailed information. I will be sure to include this page also in the description area. In closing, I just want to say that if you are the filmmaker, the producer, the executive producer, the marketer, there's so much that you're doing. And I feel that because I've been there and I want to say, just keep your head up, be optimistic, enjoy the process, learn as much as possible, but don't let any of this information or the obstacles to bring you down or permanently bring you down, get back up and get back to creating. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I can't wait to see you in the next one.